Welcome back, JC here, and here is how to connect your X4R SB receiver to the Seriously Dodo flight controller. I'll be showing you how to wire everything, take you in a beta flight, set it up, and then get telemetry in your Tyrannus. I'll be leaving links to my uh, X4R SB playlist, Seriously Dodo playlist, and also my Tyrannus playlist in the top right of your screen and description below. So if we look at the Dodo, here are our input pins. If we look on the back side, the very first pin is ground, the second pin is 5 volt, which is going to power your receiver, and then we have channels 1 to 8 uh, for a PWM receiver, but we can configure these to do other things. This receiver uses SBUS, so uh, SBUS requires a UART port, but channel 3 and 4 is actually also UART number 3. You'll see where it says U3RX and U3TX, uh, which means you are number three, receive and transmit. Uh, specifically, we need the receive, which is going to be on channel number three. I just took a three wire servo cable and direct soldered this to the board. You can use pin headers if you want, it's going to be the same thing either way. On the X4R SB receiver, uh, this I know mine looks different from yours because I've modified it, but uh, if you look at the cover, you will see right here, uh, the pin on the outside is the SBUS pin, then we have positive and then negative. You will have two rows of pins, but basically you need the pins on the back side. I know this is a D4R2, but uh, what I'm trying to say is you're going to plug this in just like this. Uh, the pins on the back side with the signal wire on the outside. So mine is just going to look like this. Now we need to talk about telemetry. The telemetry wire also requires a UART port, and because we already used UART number three, if we look on the back side, these pins here, you will see UART number two. And then this pin right in the middle is the transmit. So before we use a receive on a UART, this time we are using a transmit on a UART. Uh, so like I said, that is this middle pin right here. Your receiver should have came with a uh, four pin, four wire connector, and it plugs into the side just like this. The only wire you need is the one on the corner, and these three other wires you can completely remove, either cut them off or you can lift the tabs up with a razor blade and pull them out individually. I don't have that connector on mine, I just soldered a wire to it, uh, but it's I'm using the same pin as I am right here. Then the other end of that wire is just going to go to that same pin right in the middle uh, that I mentioned earlier. And that will look something like that. So now if we take our USB cable and plug it in, that will not only power the flight controller but also the receiver. At this point, if you have not yet bound it, you need to go ahead and do that. Uh, just look in my X4R SB or Tyrannus playlist and you will find videos on how to do that. So once I turn on my transmitter. Hey JC, welcome back. Cheat mode active. I get the solid green light, which means it's properly bound, everything is working, and we're good to go now. So if we go into beta flight and connect. Now we just need to uh, first go to ports, then because we put the SBUS wire on UART number 3, for UART 3 come over here and turn on RX or serial RX, then because we put the telemetry wire on UART number 2, for UART 2 come under telemetry, and I know this is a free sky receiver, but this is actually the type of telemetry. Um, so free sky telemetry is not what we're looking for. That's actually for the D4R2. Uh, this receiver uses smart port telemetry, so that's why we will be selecting smart port. Now I'll save and reboot. Go back to configuration. And we want to choose RX serial because uh, that's what SBUS is. Then choose what type of serial, which is SBUS then scroll down and turn on telemetry then save and reboot now we just need to test everything so go to receiver 
If you move your joysticks around, you should be seeing roll, pitch, yaw, and throttle moving on your screen. If you have created any switches, you can test those out now. Things are about to get real. Hybrid mode. Stunt mode active. Cheat mode active. Okay, everything's working. Now as far as getting telemetry, uh, on your trans, just hit the menu button to go to your models. Hold down the page button to go to the telemetry page. Scroll down to discover new sensors and press enter. Then you can stop discovery and here's all of your sensors. And uh, VFAST is going to be your voltage. It's only showing uh, around 5 volts right now because we have the USB cable plugged in. Once you plug in your LiPo battery, it's going to show you the full voltage of your battery. And that does it guys. So, like I said, check out this playlist for other helpful videos and I will see you again soon.